Hello viewers, this is Ilyas of Software Company and I am your instructor Mohamed Ilyas with the programming tips and this video we are uh, creating the digital locks so now let's me open we are uh, creating this uh, clock and this uh, current in this video which is a digital clock here is the time uh, seconds and pm m m and pm uh, and here the date and that is the current day so now close and now first download this funds this is the path for funds you want to download you um, downloads funds so now <coughs> press enter now press the download button and then go to the show and folder right click and extract here and now install these files one by one install all these files one by one we have already installed these four files so first insert install these files then go to the visual studio and now create new project now open the windows form application select the windows form this is the windows form f dot net framework and click the next button write the project name digital clock demo and now uh, provide the path you want to store this uh, projects and this is the targeted frameworks which is 4.7.2 and now press the create button If the project is created successfully, then uh, clo uh, uh, delete this form one and create the another form with the name of digital clock so now uh, press and create the form digital clock and add and now open this form and set the size and then uh, remove the uh, set as effect single and now uh, now remove the borders so now remove the form borders and set the background color so let's select this form and go to the background to select this background color as a white and now go to the panel select the panel now select the background color uh, the form background color is black and now this uh, background color is white so now set this and then select the label so now write the label and toolbox and drag it so now go to the label properties and write the uh, label um, font style so now font select this and set the size so now digital digital uh, this one ds digital and select the italic and now click on it's also bold italic okay so now select the italic 
size is uh, 72 and press ok button and now change the style so double uh, zero zero and then zero zero and set the text alignment as a and center and then copy uh, remove this set, select this level and uh, uh, auto size make false it's false and then uh, set and the set the border style fix single now uh, so copy and set the size of this is um, uh, 30 30 font size 30 and set this also and now remove this again copy and this and write the pm m or pm pm and then get copy and that is the date so write the current date one write the date which one you want through one zero one and 2020 so now copy and write the day which is uh, sunday so now write the sunday select this and enter sunday and now uh, select the one label where is the current date now copy the current date from this this is the current day the current day and this is the time now select these all and change the font color the gray okay so now uh, set the names so this is the label lbl time lbl second lbl tt lbl date lbl day and now go to the program and set digital clock form as a startup form digital clock and now run the application So the design is ready okay so now stop the application and now uh, go to the form code so now go to the click on the load and now write here some code so first uh, uh, now select the timer so I need the timer for this uh, interval changing from second to second so now we have need the timer so now drag the timer timer one right uh, save and then go to the uh, time one event select the time timer one and then the events and then double click also set the uh, timer interval is 1000 the 1000 mean it's one second and then go to the code right here uh, so now the uh, right core inside the timer one uh, click so now the lbl 
date is equal to now first get the current date time so date time uh, time is equal to date time sorry this is the date time so now date time or date time dot now so now time so now lbl time is is dot text is equal to time dot to string and now write the um, hh which is hover mm minutes now control c and get the um, lbl second so the second is just ss control c and paste here copy this and paste here so now lbl or tt write the tt then lbl date so now write here the day month and pair right so then the copy and uh, lbl date and lbl day so the day is d d d d and then run the application here nothing starts so now you must be start the timer and inside this constructor and the load of the form so now the timer one dot start and then start the application so let's hear the time is 12 4 pm the current date is this and that's the tuesday it means this is the current day so in this so this is the digital clock so now create the setup of this application so now select the properties select the targeted framework and then um, setting the assembly which is uh, by default set then now go to the um, publish uh, and select the release uh, release then one time rebuild and then set these all which is already set by default but if you want to set so then uh, set some customized files but it is by default it's ready so now just click on publish now okay so the setup is ready so now just click on setup accept now click and installing the 4.7.2 framework itself and now the application installing so now i click install the application install and it's ready it's working so now i'm closing these applications and now opens here is the digital clock demo so now this is your digital clock so subscribe our channels and also click on the bell buttons and thanks for watching